Hey guys, welcome. In this section, we will study about uh, intertrip schemes. These intertrip schemes are used in protection systems at various levels like 132 kV, 220 kV, 500 kV, and above. And these are mostly used in, in transmission line. So let's uh, see the. So we will be uh, starting our studies by knowing that what is an intertrip scheme and why it is required to implement this scheme. So briefly, I will be explaining about uh, intertrip scheme and concept of unit protection so you will be able to understand that why we need this protection and then further we will discuss communication messaging system so there are various uh, philosophies involved permissive direct and blocking scheme and unblocking schemes so each philosophy has its own advantages and disadvantages so we going to uh, learn about these items further okay further uh, uh, I will be explaining you what are different type of intertrip schemes for example there are direct transfer trip schemes where we don't need any communication approval or permission it just keep tripping directly to the remote end then you have permissive transfer trip scheme you can have a blocking scheme we will study DTT in detail, then I will be explaining this DTT using the diagram and then we will further go uh, in detail, uh, we will see some examples where we, how we can use DTT. For example, here I have seen a fault reduction trip signal. Then we have another DTT scheme where we have a radial feeder and we don't have a breaker inst uh, installed with the radial transformer and breaker is installed only at the sending end so how we will use TTT in this case then another topic will be the permissive tripping and the permissive tripping uh, obviously uh, tripping will send at the other end but the other end will check further that is uh, some conditions if they exist then it will allow tripping otherwise not then we have a blocking scheme that we will study and then later on we will see what are the advantages and disadvantages of various teleprotection schemes each scheme has its advantages and disadvantages so some schemes are faster some are slower some need high security some has low security some have high speed and low speed then we will understand conventional time graded distance production so what basically you will be able to learn that how zones are defined and how you can see here the zones are provided uh, how, about how the zones are selected zone 1, zone 2, zone 3 and zone tripping is done so I will be explaining all the theories in that time then we will start to study our first permissive intertrip scheme which is called as zone 1 extension scheme and where zone 1 is extended temporarily for a given time and then it is again uh, blocked after a certain time so we will see what are the different uh, uh, situations where we select this scheme. So these are all the examples that we will study, logic uh, that we will study for zone 1. Later we will see uh, the logic zone of the scheme okay, in detail. So then we will uh, understand permissive untraced transfer trip scheme. This is the scheme that is I have seen mostly used in protection systems uh, in my whole career of 17 years uh, until now i have seen two schemes mm, use 90 percent or 95 percent protection system one is permissive unbased transfer trip scheme and another one is permissive overage transfer trip scheme so these two trip schemes we will study in detail i will be telling you where you have to choose putt and where you have to choose POTT permissive overage transfer trip schemes so these are the examples that we will discuss and these are very very good examples logic diagrams permissive underage transfer trip scheme then we will study permissive overage transfer trip schemes and similarly we will see the logic diagrams and we will see 
the detail of it so this is permissible word scheme uh, because these two schemes are really important and mostly used so i have explained these two schemes in very much in detail and the next topic is weak in feed or no in feed protection or transfer tape scheme this is also uh, is a scheme where uh, this scheme is really used or very less uh, used because uh, it is used uh, uh, on a network where one uh, feeding station has a very small generator or no generator another station has a very strong generator so what you will do because where you have weak end feed for example one side you have generator of 1 megawatt and the side you have generator of 1 kV so 1 kV you don't have enough power to feed the fault current and relay node is not able to work on it so how in this case you will protect the line and you will protect the substation and you will interrupt the fault so this is basically the weekend feed protection schemes it has some logic like eco only eco and trip what is the eco we will learn in detail about this uh, we can feed protection then we have simplified box scheme or ovary zoom scheme then we will study blocking scheme ovary zoom schemes in detail then we will study directional comparison blocking scheme or blocking ovary distance protection scheme so I will I will be telling you briefly it has just a conceptual difference so further we will discuss this comparison scheme in detail and blocking overage production schemes using zone 1 element this is very very small modifications direction comparison blocking scheme and uh, at the end we will just compare the different production schemes their advantages and disadvantages so this all training uh, you will learn about the very very important topic of uh, transfer tip schemes and I will be explaining in a very simple way so I hope you, uh, you will subscribe and you will enroll in this training thank you very much